Hey everybody, I just recorded a video for my um, human physiology students. I walked them through um, communication pathways and I posted it to YouTube and it just made me think about the fact that I haven't uh, made contact with my YouTube students in quite a while. So I figured I would record you a quick little hello and update. Um, I don't know, I don't know if any of you are tracking my life. <clears throat> I think I'm probably more comfortable if you are not tracking my life. But the last time I recorded a hello video, I had grand plans to re-record every video that I have on YouTube. And I made it through 18 of 75 lectures. <clears throat> and then I got COVID back a year ago. So in September of 2023, I got COVID. And it was the first time that I'd had it. I was totally, I'm all vaxxed up at that point. And I am not kidding you. I was like, it was like a train hit me and I was down for the count. And I managed like how, I have no idea how I managed to keep teaching my classes um, so we survived the fall semester and then I taught in the spring as well. I was fully online and I'm still not recovered from the COVID thing. And I'm in the category now of dealing with long COVID. Um, I ended up in the emergency room. I could last, I could, you know, sit at my desk for about 10 minutes before I had to go lie down. I was teaching my class for my phone, like sending messages to my students. I, at one point I canceled all exams. Like it was just pure madness and chaos. Um, and obviously I did not uh, continue recording. I like stopped all my grand plans for updating my content. I am doing all sorts of stuff. I have, uh, I'm seeing the doctors for long COVID down at Stanford. That's super awesome. Um, I'm part of a, I participated in a clinical study that was um, diet based and I'm still working on that diet, which is awesome. I'm definitely feeling better than um, I was like, holy cow. I feel better than I have in, you know, this whole year. So I'm, I'm definitely making improvements, but I'm not normal. Like I can't exercise. I, my stamina is garbage. My brain, my brain doesn't like process as well. And I'm not as quick to um, read things. I get super anxious about doing something like a video because um, it, I, I don't feel like my brain is sharp enough to know that I'm communicating clearly and that I'm organized and that I know what I'm going to say. So trying to do videos has been extremely daunting. Hanging out with humans. Those of you who know me, <laughs> I like humans and I like teaching and I like, uh, hanging out with folks and, um, I, it just, I'm trash at the end of hanging out with people. So I actually, one of the saddest things and one of the biggest indicators for me that I was, that I'm not n normal, I'm not in my normal state is um, I had to cancel my trip to St. Louis for the Human Anatomy and Physiology Society conference. I didn't get to go to that for the first time since 2011. So I was super disappointed to not get to um, go see my, see my teacher friends. Um, but the whole point of this is just to say that um, I just kind of wanted to share the adventures that I am going through and I do have plans <laughs> to update everything and I just I'm prioritizing at this point I'm prioritizing my health and I'm being really patient and kind and resting I I go to bed at night at nine o'clock at night and I get up at seven and you know like this is not normal and I walk up the hill now, which is really um, exciting for me. I have to keep my heart rate under 120. And so I just like go really slow up the hill. And I'm super proud of myself because I'm out and doing some exercise. And this is just, I'm not used to this, these kinds of restrictions, but um, I do feel like I am getting better. And I do look forward to eventually um, doing, updating my content because um, I continue to think it really needs to be updated. 
Okay, that's it. I hope everybody out there is doing awesome and thank you for listening to me.